Shout out to everybody out in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, run up the video, and share your comment down below. What is your take on this situation? Joe Budden and Adam22, two inspirations of mine, two people I listen to, watch their content, but at the same time, two of the most controversial people in the history of media, hip-hop media to be specific, pop culture. And they have sort of like a friendship, but... A rivalry, they go back and forth right here. Joe Budden confronts him. He kind of presses him about the allegations going around with Adam-22. Listen to it for yourself. This is from the AMP interview today with Joe Budden and Adam-22. So I ask her, can I stay with you? And she says, yes. So I go and I stay at her mom's house with her. At, she is 19 at this time, and I believe that that would have meant that I was 25. And... After that, we dated for a couple months and it didn't work out. Super short version. And so I really, you know, I resent this, this narrative that people love pushing, claiming that I slept with this girl when she was underage. It's just like a hundred percent not true. I didn't even meet her. I didn't shake her hand until she was of age. So that's the most important thing I want to communicate to you in this whole thing is that this isn't a thing where... This, this, this rumors out there about me and I'm embarrassed or whatever. No, it's like, it didn't happen. Like I did not meet this girl besides a brief phone call until she was of age. And I've, I've said this, I said this on academics stream in 2018. I said it on Vlad's uh, platform soon after that. But you know, it's, it, I feel like this is an important distinction because if you want to smear me as somebody who's just down to hook up with a underage person, it really doesn't hold up because I would hope that like anybody, if you somehow ended up in that position of being on the phone with somebody, which granted, this is, it's embarrassing that the phone call even happened in the first place, right? But I did not pursue anything after that. And this girl does not claim that I did. You know, if, if that was the case, it would have been probably reported in the media and everything, which it wasn't. The, the whole thing that leads people to believe that is that there's an old blog post where I talked about the, uh, the whole relationship with that girl. And I kind of like made a joke out of it at the time about the fact, and this is 2008 that I think I wrote about it. I made a joke about the fact that I, you know, had been pretty interested in her before I realized that she was underage. Right. So that's where a lot of the jokes come from, but nobody ever includes the next paragraph where I say, but she was underage. So I immediately ceased communication with her, which to me is the probably one of the most important details in this, right? Did you call that serendipity? Well, the, the fact that I ended up in her exact city, uh, that seemed kind of, kind of odd. Serendipity has probably too much of a positive context, but Adam, <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, well, it's just murder. <laughs> you have a publicist? I do. Okay. I went, they, okay. Probably, they should have told me not to use the word serendipity. Well, y'all should probably work on your response to this stuff <laughs> you should not say the word serendipity number one that's no, fair but I, I, i'm just telling you what happened shout out to his publicist i actually know adam's publicist laura laura i think she's adam's and eminem's publicist i want to say uh she has someone now called grip she's actually a good person but yeah um i hope they probably have a lot of work going on right now him him and her adam and laura but shout out to laura Publ uh, the publicist for adam 22 I mean, I, like what I just told you is exactly what happened. So I know, but I'm gonna, I want to unpack a little bit of this because I never knew that you fucked the girl. I thought this yeah, was, we, I thought this was a girl that you spoke to who was 16 when you thought she was 19. You found out how old she was, and you disappeared, and and you got you got away from that because that can be very dangerous. Well, that, that is true. Let me talk. Let me talk. Okay. Especially dealing with a girl that young, number one, but 
They don't know shit about shit. They don't even know when they're putting somebody in danger, according to you. You said the girl was from wherever she was from, so she didn't know what she was doing, but you knew what you were doing. You said, right. I knew what I was doing, so I got away from her. Well, right. you, you didn't get away from her if, by the grace of God, she ends up back in your life while she's now of age. You're spending the night at her fucking mom's house. What type of white boy pervert shit are you? What are you talking? What what is the pervert shit about dating somebody once they are legal and of age? You know what it sounds like, and I'm not saying this is what it is. Uh, so the girl, I, Joe, I didn't I didn't say a word to her for three and a half years. That you know, it's like we just sort of ended up. I think you waited for the girl. You waited for the girl, Adam. Huh? You waited for the girl. I didn't wait for anything. We just ended up uh, reconnecting later on. How did you reconnect later on? Or the, the Facebook algorithm put the girl in your bed? You didn't know. You didn't, wait, you, didn't know you didn't know at that point that you probably shouldn't fuck the girl that you were talking to while she was sixteen years old. So because I met her when she was underage, I shouldn't yes. have yes. fucked her when I was yes. over it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying to you. Well, in retrospect, I wish I had taken that advice. It would have made everything a lot simpler, right? Well, yeah, if you isolate that, right? But then they have the little nasty tweet floating around where you talking about fucking young girls. I had some, I mean, that, that that seems like an exaggeration. I had some some edgy, jokey tweets from like 2008 to 2012 or some shit that, you know, a lot of those are pretty fucking disrespect. I know you, Joe, I know that you remember Twitter back in the day and you know how fucking toxic it was. It was bad, which is why yeah. I did a scrub of all the bad things that I had to say. But I'm not going to use the word edgy when talking about fucking little girls i don't think that that's edgy well i think that's probably not 100 percent accurate do you want to quote any particular tweet i mean i'm talking to you so i don't want to pull up the tweet but you know the tweet exists and you know it's running around here's a tweet here's a tweet that or at least a couple of them right yeah look at this these tweets and i'm not one for bringing up even though it sounds hypocritical, I'm doing it right now. I'm not one for bringing up old tweets, but this is a tweet for context. I just want people to understand what they're talking about. Because I feel like it needs to be, need context here. So here's the tweet. Let me bring it up. One second, guys. Bear with me. And then we get back to the rest of this video, this clip. Brendan and I are developing a new dating site for a little kid's tagline for kids that just want to have sex. This is in 2009. Then he says in 2010, so you're saying you wouldn't suck a 11-year-old's dick? And then he says in 09 again, was just looking at a girl's Facebook pictures and kept going to the old ones when she was 15, and I realized she was hotter than, LOL. Yeah, these are definitely just creepy tweets. But then he's saying that he was doing it from a comedic standpoint. If he was, like, a considered a comedian, you know, like, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, old, like, Kevin Hart tweets. I get it. But then, I don't know. Because this is just, this just looks weird. Because did he feel this way genuinely at one time? Were these jokes? I feel like Adam just has to apologize, and that's it. But he's not really apologizing. That's why Joe's pressing him right here. But let's get back to this right now. Let's finish this moment. Right here. Listen to those guys. Well, yeah, there's definitely some, some bad jokes from that era of my life, for sure. You don't still talk to this girl, do you? No, I haven't seen her since, I don't know, 2009, maybe. Are you aware that there are communities of uh, legal adult men who are into that type of shit? I mean, I don't know anything about that, but yeah, probably. Lord, Lord have mercy, Adam. You've got yourself into quite the conundrum this time, buddy. <laughs> is it really though? This is the same shit from 2018. Oh man! You know what's ill about this? This is not the same incident as the one that we spoke about privately, right? Yo, Joe Budden is so funny to me. Uh, what did we talk about privately? That allegation. I don't want to say 
because no, I'm, this is that. This is that girl. Wait a second, buddy. No fucking way. Yeah, bro. Yo, you are a nut. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. So when did she say this? So you fucked the girl, and then she said this when? So I fucked her in 2008 or whatever, and then 2018, I signed the deal with Atlantic, and that was the first time that I got to find out that she was going to say that I raped her uh, in 2008. So 10 years later, this accusation emerged from, from nowhere, and yeah. But not from nowhere. Because the universe gave you plenty of times to have nothing to do with this underage girl when she was underage. Then she then she got older. No, she fucked her, she just I didn't her. meet her until she was of age. Let's just make that perfectly yeah, clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but you were speaking to her. At, I spoke to her once before. And you had friends that referred this girl. Well, see, that's why I thought she was legal is because I knew other guys that had hung out with her at the time. And I thought that it was, uh, I thought that that was a good reference, but it turned out, no. You don't hear how that sounds like some kinky social club shit? <laughs> I mean, I know you're not like tuned into the punk world, but I'm not. there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people sleeping with the same, the same people, I would say, especially at that time. Yeah, well, don't bring punk world rules over to our good hip hop conversation, buddy. Don't you try it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably the same in rap too. That like the same the same chicks end up hanging out with like a lot of the same guys. Oh man, man, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> okay, so is there a correct? Let me ask you this. Let me pivot. So there we have it. That's Joe Budden uh, interrogating. Adam, I think he asked him pretty straight up, you know, like, what the, what the heck, man? I think that he nailed it on the head, though. If Adam 22, in my opinion, just owned up and just, which he has in the past, right? But then he gets frustrated because I already did it. I already did it. I think that right now with everything happening, he just needs to be very selfless, selfless, and he shall rise to the top. You know, he controls this narrative right now. If he is strategic about it, but he doesn't give a fuck. I feel like, you know, I don't know. He literally was having sex. He said before this, then he went back to having sex because he has his um his sex podcast with his girlfriend. So he's a he's a porn star. Um, Adam, man, wild boy, definitely creepy. Comment down below. What do you guys think, though? Do you think that? You know, he's obviously guilty, or there's more to it. Shouldn't people dig up more? I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's, it's it's a sticky situation. I think I definitely want to hear the girl. Where is she? She did an article. Can someone get her on camera? You know, if she's watching us, reach out. I would love to interview you, even if it's through the phone. Because I feel like her perspective is needed. Especially if what Adam's saying is true. I feel like that'll clear that up completely. But there we have it. Comment down below how do you guys feel about this Adam22 and Joe Budden. I'm going to play another clip right after this. If you like this clip, watch the other clip where Adam apologizes to Joe Budden. Crazy moment. But I have respect for these guys' content. You know, that's why I'm doing this. At the end of the day, it keeps the people talking. But once it comes to kids, I have a son. I draw the line there. Hopefully Adam is genuinely not guilty of like no more creepy ass stuff, man, because I really respect his business platform that he's established.